Hello, learners. I hope you are uh, all well. So in our segment today, I want us to look at uh, the foundation of uh, financial accounting. Actually, this is the main basis of financial accounting, which, of course, it will have an impact also when you'll be doing what? Financial reporting and anything relating with accounting. You must be very good with the concept of double entry system of accounting. The other item that you must also be able to understand very well is simply the concept to do with the trial balance. Because once you've mastered the, these uh, main uh, elements, then handling any question of financial accounting, it will always be very easy. So this is a secret. For you to be a very good accountant, then you must fall in love with Alice. Uh huh. Yes, for you to be a very good accountant, you must fall in love with Alice. So these are Alice. I know you'll wonder Molimu now who is Alice, right? So this is Alice. Anytime you're talking about accounting, all our item will be as a result of Alice. All everything that we'll be doing, actually, the whole basis of what we'll be handling in accounting, it is uh, the fruit of Alice. So when you're talking about Alice, A, giving us assets, L, giving us liabilities, I, giving us income, C, giving us capital. At times, this one, we normally refer to it as equity. And E, giving us expenses. So this is Alice. Okay. So understanding this, because you know very well, for every entry in accounting, we'll always be having two entry. And that's why we are terming it as what? Double entry system of accounting. I'll always be having a debit side and I'll always be having a credit side. So uh, looking at this case, let us do this summary. <coughs> it will help us a lot. So talk about our debit side and talk about our credit side, okay? So anytime we are talking of an asset, whenever we are having an increase in our asset, that one will always be recorded on the debit side. Anytime you're talking about a decrease in an asset, always record it on the credit side. Decrease such as depreciation, you see? Disposal, these are items that will affect assets in terms of decreasing. Anytime you're talking about liabilities, in the event that you're having an increase, always increase will always be on the credit side. So this is increase. Whereas on the debit side, we'll always be talking about what decrease when it comes to liabilities. We're having income. Anytime you're having an increase in our income, always have it on the credit side. This is an increase. And anytime you're about a decrease in income, always have it on the debit side. Decrease. Okay? We're having our capital. So anytime you're about a capital increasing or our equity increasing, always have it on the credit side. And anytime you're about a capital decreasing, we'll always be having it on the debit side. We're having expenses. Anytime you're about an increase in expense, kindly consider it on the debit side. And anytime you're about decrease in expense, always consider it on the credit side. You see? So this is what our list will give us, right? First of all, understanding the main tricks here. After this, the next segment, you'll find that... Uh, we normally tend to talk about the balances, either brought down balances, either brought down or carried down. For assets, you'll find that uh, this is what we'll always be having. For assets, for assets is always what we'll be having. Uh, let me have this case here. Again, debit and uh, credit. Now here, we are about what? You read about aspect of balances. These are literally balances that we are looking at them. Okay? So, always, always, anytime you read about balance put down in our asset accounts, anytime you read about 
balances broke down in our asset account, always have it on the debit side. So on the debit side, we'll always be talking about balance brought down, whereas on the credit side, we'll be talking about what? Balance carried down. When you are looking at liabilities, credit side will always give us balance brought down, whereas balance carried down will always or many a times be recorded on the debit side. Of course, will entail items to do with capital. Of course, will entail items to do with number one. We can talk about ordinary shares. We can talk about aspect of uh, maybe a uh, share premium. Talk about general reserves. Talk about retained earnings. All these are component of equity. So, in the event that you are considering their balances go down then their balances brought down will always be recorded on the credit side. So this is a balance brought down, whereas balance carried down will always be recorded on the debit side. So this is a clue that if you are having it, you'll find that going forward, looking at the double entry concept, things will always be very easy. So first of all, we start from this point. So that in the event that whenever you open your T account, whenever you'll be having your T account, right? Maybe you are talking about purchase of an asset, purchase of a motor vehicle. So when you are talking about purchase of motor vehicle, see this effect. I'm having motor vehicle here, motor vehicle account. And my good students, you're also having what? Bank or cash, because I'm purchasing either via cash or maybe bank, or it can be as well, credit as as well. So this is what will happen. The moment you purchase a motor vehicle, this is an asset, right? What will that do to our accounts? My motor vehicle account will increase. So asset increasing. So therefore, I'm going to have what? We are going to have here our cash or bank i have increased our motor vehicle asset at the same time what has happened to our cash our cash has decreased and that's how you read about aspect of what our asset decreasing we have it on the credit side so the detail here i'll be having a purchase motor vehicle and in this case this will be a motor vehicle account our cash has reduced you see so Double entry. There's an entry on the debit and there's an entry on the credit side. A very simple concept which you can, if at all you can look at it deeply, you'll find that it will be very easy for us to understand. Again, maybe I have closed down during that period. I am closing down my books. So closing down my books, then you'll find that our balance carry down in terms of our asset and be having it at that point uh-huh i'll be having our carry down of course at that point the same case you'll find that uh, after this i'll be having also my balance carry down at this point here on the cash account because you'll find that uh, both of course are what both are our asset account whereas if at all you are to open our next period if I told you to open our next period, the carry down, you'll find that it will be the balance brought down now on the debit side. The same case, I'll be having it here. Balance brought down, which will be on the debit side. See? So this is simply the double entry system of accounting. This is simply the double entry system of accounting. Alice. Alice is everything. Even if at all you go ahead and check our trial balance, look at our trial balance. Our trial balance will always be a matter of us preparing the summary balance debit and credit. You see, 
so that you understand this very well, you'll realize that what we have in our early uh, summary, it is exactly what is going to affect us here. Why? Because if at all you talk of our assets, we found that all our assets will be on the debit side. If at all you're talking of liabilities in our TB, all our liabilities then will be on the credit side. If at all you're talking about our income, you realize that in your TB, all your income will always be on the credit side. When you're talking about expenses, you realize that, my good students, all our expenses will always be on the debit side. Talk about aspect to do with our capital. My capital will always be recorded on the credit side. See, this is a TB. This is simply the summary of TB. This is simply the summary of TB. This is simply the summary of our trial balance. Summary of our trial balance. You see, it has all got to do with what? With Alice. So it is important that we understand this concept. And once we have these basics of account, then I'm very sure there's no question that you can't handle for accounts. That one I'm definitely very sure. So to this point, again, also we've made it easy for you guys, right? We have our MDRASA GPT. MDRASA GPT. We have MDRASA GPT. So that in the event that you're having any question relating to accounts, I'm going to attach the link of our GPT just below this video. So that in the event that you're having any question relating to accounts, you just go to Embarasa GPT and utilize this tool, right? We should take advantage of technology. Just go to Embarasa GPT, utilize the tool, and you're going to get any, uh, any, any, uh, uh, any, any question relating to accounting uh, in relation to that, you can always get a solution on the same. So make sure that you utilize the same, uh, you've taken advantage of this. And for those who are interested, of course, in joining our classes, right? You can always get more of these videos on either mdarasa, app.mdarasa, or just go to mdarasa.com. You can either go to mdarasa.com directly, or you go to app dot mdarasa.co.ke. All these are the resources that we have for you guys, which you can, of course, take an advantage of them. So if at all you go to mdarasa.com, you just search to, you just search uh, Aringo. You'll find that all the courses that um, Aringo has done. If you go to app.mdarasa.co.ke, then you have to select the specific unit that you want to, to do. So take advantage of this. And guys, see you in our next session whereby I'll be giving you more tips in relation to what? Financial accounting. Thank you. See you then. Bye-bye.